For more than half a century, Dr. Tom Fogarty has been dedicated to improving the health of people around the world. From his development of the balloon catheter more than 50 years ago, to his work today, mentoring young innovators in their quest to develop the treatments of tomorrow, Dr. Fogarty has had a transformative effect on the medical technology community and patients worldwide. Given the incredible sweep of Dr. Fogarty's career, everyone has been touched by his entrepreneurial spirit, his innovation, his genius. Tom Fogarty is the absolute uh, best example of someone who knows exactly what all the rules are, knows how to do all the operations, knows all the algorithmic learning, but his brain is capable of getting over into the other side, closer to the Da Vinci side, where he can imagine a different solution, but one that can actually be executed. Born on February 25, 1934 in Cincinnati, Fogarty has been a lifelong fixer. During his teenage years, Fogarty worked at the Good Samaritan Hospital in Cincinnati, where as a scrub technician, he observed an operation on a blocked blood vessel. At the time, it often took as many as three surgeries to unblock a blood vessel, sometimes resulting in the loss of a limb or even death. The young Fogarty knew there had to be a better way, so using a urethral catheter in a latex glove, he designed a hollow tube with a balloon at the tip that he thought could be inserted into a patient's arm or leg and worked up through the artery through the clot. Once inflated, the balloon could withdraw the clot through the artery and out of the body. With help and encouragement from his mentor, Dr. Jack Cranley, Fogarty went on to become a surgeon and the two continued to work perfecting his invention. Dr. Fogarty really epitomizes how innovation happens in our field. So often medical technology comes about because of a physician like Dr. Fogarty who has a better idea. And uh, Dr. Fogarty has had a lot of them. In 1963, almost five years after Fogarty first created the balloon catheter and following repeated attempts to publish the results of his work, Miles Lowell Edwards, then CEO of Edwards Labs, which went on to become Edwards Life Sciences, examined Dr. Fogarty's device and agreed to manufacture it. Edwards is among the most innovative and successful medical technology companies in the world. When I think about some of the biggest advances in the treatment of vascular disease, I think of the Fogarty catheter. And from the very beginning, the Fogarty catheter and Edwards have been one. You know, I think the trust that exists in the Fogarty catheter was simply built on the fact that it works. Physicians are confronted with a difficult clinical problem, they use the Fogarty catheter and they get results. Today, minimally invasive surgeries are commonplace for a host of procedures, leading to dramatic declines in patient complications, but it wasn't always the case. Dr. Fogarty's invention of the balloon catheter really paved the way for an entire field of minimally invasive technologies that are reducing hospital stays and improving recovery times. Dr. Fogarty's catheter technology has touched nearly 20 million patients, many of whom would have otherwise lost limbs or possibly their lives. It is used in more than 300,000 procedures a year worldwide. The original device for investigating and treating blockages and clots inside arteries was the Fogarty embolectomy catheter. It's the OR device, the original one. And based on that, many other technologies have developed. One is useful for measuring cardiac output. Uh, an another was the whole set of original balloon catheters that were used to take out the, and reduce the blockages in arteries in a technique called angioplasty, which was then subsequently improved with stent placement and that's become a major a useful technique for treating blockages inside coronary vessels. As a former standout college football player and someone who made exercise part of his life, Preston Anderson was stunned when he felt the crushing chest pressure of a heart attack during his daily workout. The workout started off like any other workout. I got on the elliptical machine, which is uh, uh, something that I started to enjoy doing. I'll never forget the 
time, it was 20 minutes and 23 seconds, and uh, I felt this pain uh, in my chest. And uh, it wasn't so much a pain as it was pressure. In the re far recesses of my mind, uh, you know, the thought of a heart attack uh, was there, and uh, it was something that I, I didn't want to be true. Finally got to the hospital, and um, it was scary. You know, it was scary, really scary at that point. The room was full of people. Um, they were li literally cutting off my shirt. They confirmed that I was having a heart attack. The doctor came in and, and told me that I was going to going up to the catheter lab and I was going to have a procedure, uh, a catheterization. Just knowing that uh, I had a skilled physician and working with uh, that excellent technology with the uh, with the balloon and uh, you know and then leaving the stent there. Uh, you know, just it felt good, you know, in that moment that uh, you know, we're going to have a, a good result. Over the last five decades, Dr. Fogarty has cemented his reputation as an internationally renowned cardiovascular surgeon and innovator, widely regarded as the preeminent inventor of medical technologies of his generation. He has dedicated his entire career to improving patient care acquiring 165 medical patents for his revolutionary work, and founding or co-founding more than 40 medical technology companies. Dr. Fogarty has also been recognized by countless organizations for his contributions to medical science, including receiving the Presidential National Medal of Technology and Innovation in 2014. It's not just his own patents and inventions he takes pride in. It's also being able to pass his knowledge, curiosity, and entrepreneurial spirit onto others. Knowing how hard it was to get his own invention from the idea stage to commercialization, he started the Fogarty Institute for Innovation to help innovators and inventors like he was decades ago. Inventors like Fletcher Wilson. Myself and uh, a couple team members uh, spent a lot of time uh, sitting in a hospital setting and looking for medical needs, looking for problems to solve, and uh, found ourselves uh, in the vasco surgery clinics and found a lot of patients with chronic venous disease, uh, specifically open wounds on the legs that can't be solved with any current technology. Uh, our team came up with a solution that would allow a physician to create new vein valves for patients out of autologous tissue or out of the patient's own vein wall tissue uh, without requiring an implant using a catheter uh, and therefore making the procedure percutaneous and less invasive. The mission of the Fogarty Institute is to promote medical innovation by providing support to promising innovators and researchers as they transform their creative ideas into practical solutions to improve patient care. The Fogarty Institute has helped dozens of innovators. So an idea is one thing, but what we really needed was financial backers, we needed equipment, a place to park, uh, and we needed support. And the Fogarty Institute came along at a really good time for us. Oh, well, that's the solution, the market. Yeah, market. The med tech community and patients worldwide have benefited significantly from Dr. Fogarty's expertise and unique way of thinking. Dr. Fogarty is a true icon of American medicine and entrepreneurship, and that's why he's the 2015 AdvaMed Lifetime Achievement Award recipient. Oftentimes in Washington, policymakers are known for using a lot of words and not saying very much. What I love about Dr. Fogarty is that he is unafraid to call it like it is in many ways probably has been such a good innovator because he was willing to think differently about problems and not worry about what other people would think. I'll be eternally grateful for Dr. Fogarty for kind of the time and effort he's put into helping me succeed. It's amazing that um, you know you have people out there with just the generosity of you know, a spirit and, and caring that uh, and will take the time and, uh, and really focus and create these life-saving uh, uh, products and techniques. Science, especially in medicine, has to reach out to new ideas. And this is where Tom's always been so brilliant. Able to imagine what's never been done, but what could be done.